whatever that was. John Mayer Daughter, Part 3. Can't believe I'm doing Part 3. If you haven't watched Part 1 and 2, T-Gear, by the way, uh, you may want to do 1 and 2 now. But the uh, last part we left off at was where the piano thing comes in in the end. So there is no guitar playing what I'm playing. I'm trying to play kind of the chords a little bit and kind of the piano part a little bit. The piano part's going like... Uh, uh, oh yeah, that's it. So it's going like C sharp to D, ninth to tenth fret of your high E string. Uh, then ten to nine on your second string, so backwards. And then C sharp to D again, nine to ten. Uh, eight to seven on your second string for G to F sharp. So that's the whole piano part. And it's octave, so it's like a. piano it'd be an octave higher of two but um anyway but what i would did was took part of the chord and tried to incorporate uh the notes from the piano and the chord so i'm playing my b minor seventh with my first finger on my seventh fret on my sixth my fifth is blocked second finger is is barring the seventh fret strings four three two and then i have that c sharp so a lot like the g minor nine well it is that we played before, but it would now be B minor nine because we're up three steps, uh, four steps. Anyway, two whole steps, four half steps. What are you gonna call it? C sharp D. There's that A, and then I'm grabbing E seven, which actually looks like your A seven chord back here. Oops, not sure you can even see that. But up here on seventh, where we're barring the seventh fret, we have a third finger on the ninth fret of the fourth, and pinky on the ninth fret of the second for an E seven. So we had. And then on that next part, we were going to go, I'm trying to remember what I did exactly on that part. I think I went, uh, oh yeah, that's it there, that's it there. So a first finger on the fifth fret of the fourth string, second finger on the sixth fret of the third string, third finger on the seventh fret of the second string, then Pinky's playing that C sharp from the piano part, and then pull up to the D, and then your D from the other part. That's it. There's an E7. Sorry, that chord is hard to grab. Again, I... Getting into the groove and the feel. And I think I had a little bit of fun with the strumming, you know, I wasn't quite concerned with... Uh, and I think that was the whole tune, and then it, it came back around to the uh, chorus again. Yeah, so anyway, that's it. Um, I guess at any point, if there are people interested in learning some of those other little tiny parts that I didn't really explain, I'll do a fourth video. Uh, so let me know if, you know, but otherwise, the, you have everything you need there to, to sing and play it, which was basically the intention. Um, okay, anyway, uh, have fun, subscribe, I'll tell your friends, and uh, yeah, thanks.